Back by popular request, this is technically part six. Hey goblins and welcome back. We decided to do something a little bit different for this. Oh, we just got a delivery or something. <laughs> this is a private driveway. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Yeah, there's package. Nice. Anyway, we decided to do something a little bit different for our new segment of Alter Intros, especially considering that like there's this whole new subsystem that kind of came towards the rest of the system and has basically taken over. <laughs> and it's fitting to kind of give an update as to who the main ones around are these days, because it's certainly not the ones from the previous intros. All the other intros are so outdated. We look back at those and it's like, wow, that's, that's some nostalgia right there. Like... <laughs> Yeah, part one is about three years old, I think, so <laughs> that's definitely, we've changed a lot since then. This is more accurate. <laughs> Watch these ones instead. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do something a little bit different rather than having that going down the list of like name, age, sexuality. We're kind of just like going to have a vague, try to cover those points in your intro and add or leave out whatever information you would like to and it's gonna be a lot more loose than the other ones were and again like <laughs> if you all are new here um, we're terrible with eye contact and we're very aware of that so if we're not looking directly into the camera most of the time uh, don't worry about it we just feel really weird staring at the black strip on the edge of the phone but anyway, yeah. So we're going to try to desensationalize that as much as we can along with the rest of the content on our channel. And yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully it'll be good. So anyway, I'll start out with this. Uh, my name is Terrence. I spell it T-A-R-R-E-N-C-E. -E. It's not my real name. I can't tell you that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I spell it that way because it kind of you know, resembles what my actual name is, and I'm just like, yeah, kind of shorthand. Yeah, sorry, it's very warm in here. I'm sorry if my face is getting red. Our face turns red very often. I'm learning that. Yeah, I'm the host of, or I suppose the acting host of this current subsystem, and I came in towards the main planet on a spaceship. <laughs> we have spaceships in our world that were kind of hovering just outside of view, just far away enough so that we couldn't interact with the rest of the system, and we kind of had to watch from afar. And it was, it really sucked for the most part, because, you know, you want to reach out to these people and, like, help as much as you can, but you're restrained. Like, the plan was for me to stay away, me and everyone around me, to stay out of our life until, you know, we had a house secured and a full-time job secured and steady income and such, because we are such high-level alters that our brain would be, like, shocked by our presence or whatever. But we had to come in early, and I was the first ship to arrive. Yeah, first big ship. Like, I sent out a scout on a smaller ship. It was just, like, him, basically. And then he came back, and then I was like, oh my god, let's <laughs> bring in the troops, basically. And I've been the one to kind of be leading these radical reformation acts and trying to fix things. And, yeah, just try to get the system back on its feet, I suppose. Because I'm essentially... I feel like basically Devin's older brother, <laughs> essentially. Like a 2.0 almost. Uh, 
it's really hard to describe without giving away too much. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a very brotherly kind of feeling towards him, and it's it sucks to see him in the way that he currently is, you know, being kind of labeled as a trauma-holding persecutor and uh, being in a lot of distress. So I've been, you know, pretty emotional about that. I'm one of the ones who can feel more emotion, so I've been crying on behalf of a lot of alters who can't do it themselves, which is really interesting. Like, if you have DID or OSDD, or I think OSDD1A may experience this, but I'm not certain. Like, if there are OSDD1A systems, like, plug your channel down in the description, or the comments. Plug your channel down in the comments, and, like, yeah, we could put those in descriptions if people are looking for, you know, more information on that. We can actually give them some channels be like, these guys... But yeah, crying secondhand, secondhand emotions. Like, I could be co conscious with an alter who is just, you know, beside themselves and is appearing to be furious, but I will be crying <laughs> because I feel, you know, the the pain that's actually there and it's it's a lot, I guess, but at the same time it's necessary and we hold in a lot of emotions. And a lot of things, and it's just been a culture shock out here. Yeah, a, definitely a culture shock, because to me, being in part of a subsystem, like, there are two kinds of subsystems, like, you know, an altar with altars, and then uh, a group of altars that is separated from the rest, like me, and my my group of people around me. Uh, we were separated far away, and we could watch the outer world and the main inner world on screens like tv <laughs> it was literally like tv we could turn on a channel and be like oh you know flick earth flick part of the inner world flick another part of the inner world and it was tv <laughs> essentially so being out here is kind of i compare it to those blue alien comics it's both a culture shock and kind of a fangirling experience. <laughs> We've had a lot of people who are just like, you know, busting up laughing about what we title as the much debated cheese log, <laughs> which is string cheese. Like, which way do you eat it? Do you peel it? Do you bite it? We've got some people who just make just the most horrendous jokes about that, and it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, we have a bunch of very complex, intricate relationships in this subsystem. And all of this has been happening in what people label as our subconscious, but is really just a sectioned off part of our consciousness that couldn't have been accessed before. And we were just developing as the rest of the system was parallel, essentially. Like, the rest of the system was, and, you know... We kind of think of it like that old myth. Like, we know this isn't a fact. The You only use 10% of your brain. Like, that's been disproven, and so on and so forth. But it's <laughs> kind of like that. We were basically only using a very small portion of our system, and the rest of the system was basically watching from the sidelines until we hit adulthood. And I'm one of the forerunners there to kind of bring us all in. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm a bit adventurous. <laughs> I definitely enjoy seeing all this outer world stuff firsthand. It's really interesting. It's it's so immersive. <laughs> That's what I've been saying a lot. Like, wow, this is just immersive, isn't it? Just, just in this. <laughs> 3D, full experience. Yeah. If I'm going to vaguely cover the uh, points, my age, uh, I'm really, really old. <laughs> Probably about the same age as Devin is. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, gender, male, sexuality, bi, I guess. I mean, I like both. Both have very good qualities. <laughs> well, so does everything else, man. It's really hard to label sexuality these days. We just kind of have a generalized sexuality in our system where we're just like, yes. <laughs> if If you click well with me as a person, like, 
that's just like who you are and it doesn't matter what you look like. I know, I think that's the definition of pansexuality, but like some of us have such, you know, traumatized boundaries with like sexuality and stuff. We just kind of just don't label it and, you know, our partner system gets it. So that's, that's all that really matters. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have eyes for a couple of them, but, you know, I don't want to settle down yet. I just got in. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to take a minute to, like, explore and, like, learn about this world and stuff before jumping into relationships and stuff. But, yeah, it's it's interesting being engaged. It's kind of like an arranged marriage, but not bad because, you know, if it was bad, we would have intervened. <laughs> like, we would have made sure it didn't get as far as it did and we're buying a house together so we're fine <laughs> it's all good like we we all approve of them so we're good some of my likes are well let's see you know outer space and technology you know i live in outer space how can you like hate it i guess it's it's home to me uh the movie jupiter ascending is one of my favorites because it kind of some movies inspire us to be able to, like, bridge gaps that are kind of held up by amnesia barriers. And by being able to see something on a screen that's like, oh yeah, look at those ginormous spaceships in comparison to the little Earth. And one person on Earth can talk to these people on this ginormous spaceships. And it kind of helps contextualize a little bit. It's like It's like a scale model, I suppose. Yeah. We've been describing a lot of things as scale models. A lot of that, like, downsized in the system. We've had a lot of scale models around. But yeah, being able to kind of see something we can relate to a little bit is really nice. I feel so gross. I'm, like, sweating on camera. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> this is how um, casual we're making our videos. Like, we're sweating on camera and trying to not trip out about it. <laughs> We're not editing that out. LMAO. Yeah, so my dislikes, I guess, would be... I guess... Seeing this body in the state that it's in. And... Yeah, not being able to help sooner than I could. And, like, seeing everyone in pain. I really hated that. So I'm very glad to be able to be here and be able to fix things. Uh, my appearance, I guess, you know, I wear like long black robes that obscure most of what I look like. But what I can say is I'm pretty tall. <laughs> I'm about the same height as Xavier and Parsifal. And I've got black hair that's about, you know, past shoulder length or so. And uh, blue eyes. And that's basically all the traits I've actually shown to the rest of the system to begin with, so you guys aren't getting a lot withheld at that point. <laughs> I think that's all about about all that I have to say. Like, I can't think of anything off the top of my head to add to that. You know, system role, maybe. New host. New current host. Acting host, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose so. And uh, the only other thing I wanted to say is, like, one of our patrons sent us this really cool necklace. It's System Pride colors, so, like, if those colors are something that makes you uncomfortable, look away. But I just want to show this because it's a lovely gift. It's a round little pendant with uh, the System Pride colors on it. I'm rambling. I do that a lot. So, if you don't mind rambling videos, like... I will certainly film things, and if you'd prefer something more concise, I'm fairly certain that someone on these intros is going to be the more concise type. I don't know actually what they're all going to look like on camera, so this is really interesting. For the most part, this is the first time most of us are really using the body consistently and like being here and kind of gaining our own individual mannerisms and stuff. So yeah. I'm going to shut up and let them talk. <laughs> See you around. I guess I might as well do this now. That's as good of a time as any. Uh, right now we're just in a Fred Meyers parking lot. 
That's a local grocery slash department store. And I'm pretty sure you can't see any signs. Any signs behind me you may see are the uh, tow truck company, which is standard Fred Meyer's practices. <laughs> so I've chosen the name Cadence to go by. I've been the one tagging things as C lately. I made the DID Drawtober thing. Um, yeah, I had no idea that there was more than one uh, drawing thing coming out, and it was just, you know, a spur of the moment. I'm bored, and I want to see some prompts on the internet, so I'm going to make this. That's that's basically it. <laughs> so a bit more about me. I'm, you know, going through the list in our head of the standard introduction things. So name, cadence, age very old. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. Um, gender, mostly masculine, I guess. Yeah. He, him pronouns for the most part. Yeah. That's, that's what seems the most fitting. Sexuality, it's really whatever, I guess. <laughs> depends on the person. It, it just depends on the person. Um, system role. <sighs> you know, I had this all thought out so clearly in my head beforehand, and now that I'm sitting here in front of the camera, my brain's like, oh wait, you can't say this, or this, or this. You can only think that, and think that you can say that. Which is annoying. I'm sort of a gatekeeper. Some would call me an administrator. I'm in charge of a very important computer in the inner world, and that kind of controls how a lot of things run. <laughs> yeah, it controls how a lot of things run, and like which altars are in rotation to some extent, and the amnesia barriers, and our physical capabilities, our ability to work with technology, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> admittedly, I had a pretty bad amnesia barrier with the rest of the system, the, the main part. <laughs> it's hard to call it the main part. It's not really the main part. It's part of it. It's not even half. <laughs> the known inner world isn't even half of the inner world. Like, I want to say so many things, but there's... So little that I can say, because, you know, I f if I reveal it to you all, I reveal it to the rest of the system, and some people just can't handle that yet, and probably neither could a lot of the internet, so it's best to monitor things <laughs> in some cases. Yeah. So our system was essentially running in the way it was designed to run while we were in school, you know, we were very, very strict on ourselves, and, yeah, there's <laughs> there's someone who's, like, unlocking their car, and they parked right in front of me, so I'm just going to pause and pretend like I'm not just sitting in here talking to myself. Well, their lights just flashed, and nothing even happened, so I guess no one's around. <laughs> Or maybe they think I'm just sketchy sitting in here talking to myself in a car in a Fred Meyer's parking lot. Either way, whatever. We're not going to be in this town for long anyway, so we don't really care what people here think of us. Like, for crying out loud. We might even wear a face mask that says the end is near on it. We have one. We made one. And we were wearing it around Portland, but not up here. Yet. Uh, let's see. So my system role is gatekeeper administrator, and I run a lot of things. <sighs> Even I lose my train of thought. Yeah, I got too blinded by my work to actually see what was going on in the outer world, because 2020 was such a wild card. Like, the academic year 2019 to 2020... That was supposed to be our last, like, school year and where we're getting our job and house and getting settled. And we got 2020 would And I was just, you know, trying to work with whatever I was working with. Like, yeah, yeah, just 
don't don't pay any attention to what's going on in the outer world. We're in the home run anyway, like final stretch, whatever. And then I looked out and I'm just like, oh my god. We were running completely wrong. Yeah. So now I am trying to get our moods back in balance, which is something I'm able to do to some extent, and kind of try to maintain, I guess, a good stability internally again. We used to have a pretty good one, but, you know, this year, (laughs) need I say more? Yeah, alright, so some of my likes, I guess, you know, technology, I enjoy that. Um, organization is nice. I get along pretty well with Terrence. I do not get along well with, you know, oh, I can't say them yet. (laughs) They're on their way, but I can't reveal any names. I guess you'll meet them soon enough. My dislikes are gossip. I don't like that. In the inner world, like, this is part of the reason why I paid so little attention to what was going on out here is because I don't like gossip. And to my circle, what happened in the inner world in our life was a TV show that people would gossip about, and we viewed that like we viewed Portlandia. We were just like, oh, or at least I was. I was salty in the same way that Devin was salty about Portlandia. Like, oh, I don't want to watch that. That's just some some caricature of what's going on. Like, that's BS, and it's got, like, things cut out and framed weirdly, whatever. Like, what I need is in front of me. And it turns out I should have looked up more often instead of getting blinded by my work. And now I'm working to repair things. So that's good. I'm part of that team reparations <laughs> I guess you could call us which is good at first it was a really big shock but now I'm just like getting my feet under me and I'm like okay we can actually like fix this <laughs> this is okay we'll we'll be all right all right and then uh what I look like I guess similar to Terrence Sort of. We look kind of like siblings, but, you know, he's got this more matte black style going on. Well, I've got this, like, mostly black, but with um, accents of a sky bluish teal. It's not quite the teal that we have as, like, our channel logo, but it's not quite sky blue. It's, like, in the middle. Something I'm hoping to find at Fred Meyer's is a bandana that's roughly that color. <laughs> It'll help me to be more grounded when I'm out. We've been having, you know, a lot of variety in face covering is that's how <laughs> that's how we've been like kind of differentiating between alters since we're, you know, staying with relatives and can only have limited things. We've got quite a few different colors of bandanas and things like that, scarves and such to uh, you know, color correspond except we don't really have anything teal or bright. It's all dark colors. Why does so much of the system have to be goth? (laughs) Um, But yeah, I don't have a face claim drawn up yet. I will definitely have to draw myself, because I've got like kind of um, these circuity things that look like they're coming out of my eyes, but it looks like they're kind of just, you know, lights. Like, uh... I don't know, futury stuff. <laughs> From outer space, we we look futury. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Uh we'll probably eventually do a video where we kind of we might do speed draws again. We did speed draws uh once before and that was just, you know, kind of to test it out and we didn't really commit to the artwork very well and it turned out kind of terrible. But uh Yeah, maybe we'll do a 2.0 version of that where we actually try to make good artwork. (laughs) I'm just laughing internally because it was such a joke. Like, 
the first speed draws are always the worst speed draws because <laughs> ours was just terrible <laughs> and in hindsight we were just like wow our art skill has improved a lot since then we should probably like show that <laughs> So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to draw up face claims for us space people because we're difficult to describe besides, you know, long hair, robes, and like these spiky collar things. You know, like when people wear those things on the back of their robes that kind of arch up. I don't know what they're called. I know there's a word for them. Our sister has one, and I know what the word is, but I just forget it. But yeah, stuff like that. We look pretty fancy. <laughs> but uh, it's more for the purpose of like obscuring forms. But that's how dissociation works. Anyway, I think that's all I should say before I give away anything more than I should. <laughs> That moment when you feel those eyes on the inside just watching you. It's like, fine, fine, I'll shut up now. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you all later. See you later. <laughs> but before I go, life hack, if you wear glasses and you have a loose face covering, the glasses can possibly hold them in place. Life hacks. Yeah, that's crooked. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Update, we didn't find the teal bandana, but <laughs> we found the actual reason that we went to Fred Meyer's in the first place, which was acid reducers. Everyone's favorite. It's, it's what you gotta take every day when you have stomach ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we missed our uh, dose today, which is probably why we feel kind of like our stomach's being stabbed. <laughs> Admittedly. All right, so I guess I'll start out with the intro. It's not my real name. I can't give you that because that's just not how it works, I suppose. My color is more reds. Like, if I had chosen what we wore into the store, I would have picked, like, the red bandana because we have a few in our backpack. We kind of just cycle through. <laughs> There's the one that Ballista was wearing and it's the one that Terrence likes. A lot of the system likes this one, but goths. What are you going to do? <laughs> I definitely describe myself as more of the athletic type, although I am from space as well, so I do have that interesting space fashion where you wear robes and stuff, but if I was out here, I'd probably be, like, kind of sporty. I don't know. I don't know. I've never, like, actually thought about what my fashion sense out here would be. Probably pretty athletic. Yeah, I guess I'd call myself, like, a uh, sort of a protector slash errand boy. Um, I work with Terrence a lot. Like, I'm on his ship for the most part. I was the one that he sent down to check out the planet to make sure everything was okay, which it wasn't. And I was the one who then sent the alarm of, everyone get over to this planet now. <laughs> that That was my doing. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been interesting. I've been trying to, you know, help as much as I can. I'm definitely the type who'd make us go out and do exercise, but we haven't really had, like, a good time and place for, for exercising right now. Which is why I'm really excited for our uh, new place, because we're going to be able to do so much yard work. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, likes. Um, having. Okay, so I think the camera cut off when I was going to talk about my likes. <laughs> 
the the thing just died. Like the app just crashed again. I don't know if that's this phone or if it's just because we're running low on like phone memory space. But I deleted some old videos, and uh, hopefully that worked. <laughs> Yeah, likes would definitely be having activities to do, like physical labor, like, you know, yard work, exercising, moving boxes, going and acquiring things, <laughs> basically being, um, you know, kind of an assistant, I guess, but in more of a militant kind of way, if you can imagine it, like, you know, uh, like a emperor or a king or whatever, his, like, night that he gets to run all the errands for him, the guy he trusts to do all the things because he's like, you know, a badass and knows all the skills and knows how to manage himself among the system. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. That's kind of like my role. I go between um, parts of the subsystem as well. Like, between ships, I was one of the ones who was able to get Cadence and Terrence to talk again, <laughs> because, you know, they were just far away, and I had to be like, guys, listen, listen to each other, this is some serious crap going on. Yeah, dislikes, um, not being able to help, I guess, like, being able to do, like, nothing, having nothing to do and being only able to stand by and watch while someone slowly deteriorates. <laughs> uh, I guess that's going to be a common dislike among this subsystem, because we've all just been watching the outside like, oh my god, <laughs> wow, it's kind of like watching Facebook right now, except for it's your life, <laughs> and it's the body that you are to inhabit. <laughs> So, yeah, I like to be able to uh, make an impact and make, like, you know, positive changes and make us healthier, I guess. And I don't like to see us being all scrawny and not, not very strong. Not as strong as I'd like. We're pretty strong, believe it or not, but not as much as I'd like us to be. <laughs> Oh, but then again, I'm just one of those bulky protectors. Yeah, I'm pretty tall. A little bit taller than Terrence, or roughly the same height. <laughs> we just got a message from our uh, our partner system. It was Trish, and she's just <laughs> frustrated by the classmates at uh, the work training thing that she's doing. Rip, y'all. Oof. To whoever is working from home. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> and to all, all workers during this time, hang in there. But yeah, I like to be able to make a positive impacts to our health, and yeah, I want us to be able to be really strong and, you know, just... Dang it. Okay, <laughs> that was the low battery thing. It didn't kill the video. Sweet. It just told me I have low battery. No worries, I was almost done talking anyway. I think I was going on to describe what I look like, kind of. Yeah, that's what I was doing next. So I'm definitely going to have to draw myself, because the closest approximations I can describe myself as are, like, you know that one guy? I think he's from Kingdom Hearts or something. He's got, like, you know, black robes, and he's got, like, the spiky red hair. Like... I don't know his name. I think it's like, I want to say Roxas, but I could be so wrong. I could be so very wrong. We never played those games. We didn't have access to video games like that as a child. But <laughs> yeah, I've got like spikyish hair. It's red. It's pretty long. It doesn't go like all spikes. It's like half spikes and kind of down. So it's like a really long mullet, I suppose. <laughs> And my robes are, like, you know, more red, but, like, black as well. Because, you know, that's, like, Terrence's color. His ship is matte black, basically, and I've got red and matte black colors. So, it works. Yeah, I come from a very warlike part of the system, so it's been interesting to come out here and be in 
Earth 3D. <laughs> I just keep hearing jokes about the much debated cheese log. <laughs> the mozzarella string cheese. Everyone just makes so many jokes about it. And I'm not going to I'm not going to say what some of them are. I'll just let I'll let Baron say it himself. My god. <laughs> He's like the Sargon from outer space. <laughs> If you stuck around for a while, you'll you'd know what I mean. But oh my god. Anyway, actually no, a more accurate comparison would be like the Vera of outer space, but he's got more power <laughs> and more of an ANP disposition. But I'll let him describe himself because he's probably going to film in one of the next segments or so. Anyway, it was great to uh speak to you all. I'm definitely going to be around more, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in some future videos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now's as good of a time as any. Alright, hey, this is Misha. You probably remember me from the uh, Why Hollow Speaks in the Third Person video. That was the first one I made. This is my second. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is the intro, so... We used to do those things where you go down a list and say your name, age, sexuality. Well, I'm going by Misha, but that's not my real name. <laughs> that's the case with just about everyone you're going to see from our subsystem. We have, like, names that we can't share because we're not allowed. So we pick uh, what we call street names. <laughs> and it's just what we go by to the public. And it works. It can be pretty cool. So yeah, my age, I'm pretty old, but not quite as old as Terrence. I can't quite put my finger on the age. One of those things where it's kind of scrambled in your brain, people trying to be like, oh, you can't say that yet, so let's just make it so you can't remember, and I'm just like, ugh, rude. <laughs> uh, my gender... I would say is kind of more non-binary masculine, so they, them. Yeah. Pretty much non-binary, leaning masculine. Which works for this body. I mean, everyone's pretty content with this thing. Like, <laughs> for our subsystem, like, having it actually be as masculine as we thought it would be, or hoped, was, like, score! <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. We're getting a goatee going on. And I am proud of that. Let's see. Uh, sexuality. Kind of just whoever. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, just pansexual. Pretty regular. <laughs> Pretty standard for our system. A lot of us are just pansexual because it's just like, whatever. We don't really judge people based off their gender, really. We base them more off of their character. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much how we work with, like, you know, relationships, friendships, whatever. Like, if you're cool, then you're cool. It doesn't matter, like, what you look like. And, okay, down the list, my system roll. I guess I'd be... Oh, jeez. Kind of like what Vicky does. I don't know if she made an intro. She might have. Um... Kind of similar job as... What's he going by? I'm pretty sure he's a segment before me. Like, errand person. But I do a lot of the reparation kind of things. I'm kind of a soldier alter, but, like, not as high-ranking as him. I'm, like, you know, a couple levels further down. And I was one of the ones that they first sent down onto the main inner world planet to kind of start doing the reparation stuff and, like... Getting altars where they need to be, kind of uh, taking energy out of some structures and putting it into others, <laughs> uh, fixing stuff. Yeah, that's what I like to do a lot. I like to I like to fix things, or at least kind of see how it impacts the rest of the system when we actually like do something. Like we helped uh, Subject M finish integrating. We've had some integrations, but it's mostly like altars that you haven't met integrating with more altars that you haven't met 
who happen to be pretty fragmenty. So we're going to talk more about that later, but we're going to leave that to someone who's integrated because that's just like not my place. <laughs> I'm not integrated. <laughs> Another one of my likes is uh, humor. Definitely humor. There's like a running joke comparing like my smile to Mr. Pickles, <laughs> the cartoon border collie who is very violent. <laughs> Because, you know, my name is Misha, which is, like, uh, you remember the talking husky, Misha? Like, the one that says I love you? <laughs> it just so happens that we share a name that's a husky, and I've got a smile that's similar to Mr. Pickles. So I just hear endless jokes about this. <laughs> we have a lot of jokes in our subsystem. We like to, we like to joke around at each other a lot. <laughs> A lot of it like calling each other dogs and stuff because, you know, we run errands and do things and get restless when we don't have work to do, you know, much like dogs, if they're like herding dogs or whatever. And so there's so many dog jokes just around the system. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Likes. Um... I guess the color sky blue and the element of electricity. I don't know if those are likes or parts of what comprise me, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, those play a part into, you know, kind of how I look a little bit. Like, I'm kind of spiky. Like, my hair's spiky. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've got lots of, like, sky blue in what I wear. We're definitely going to have to draw ourselves. Yeah, I've got, like, long hair, like, bluish eyes, but I have kept my hair covered <laughs> because it's, like, blue. <laughs> but electric, kind of. Like, an electric blue. I'm looking for an example. Uh, oh, hey. A mask. <laughs> kind of sort of like this, but, like, a few shades brighter. Yeah, like, a combination between this and the Windex. <laughs> That's about what my hair color is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dislikes, I guess, would be... I don't know, people trying to shut me out, like, in the inner world, being all like, oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. You're from outer space or whatever, so amnesia barriers. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, don't do that. Uh, stay with us, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it when people, uh, I guess really freak out about our subsystem. I mean, it's really big, and we've been dropping hints about how big our system actually is for a long time, and you'd think people would kind of pick up on that, and uh, <laughs> I just don't like it when people freak out when we reveal facts that shouldn't be that surprising. <laughs> but then again, you know, what we're used to up in space is definitely different than what they're used to in the regular part of the inner world, so I should lower my standards <sighs> and be nicer to them. Which I've been, I've been being pretty nice. Yeah, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, kind of like the in-your-face type a little bit, but not really the degrading kind. Like, only if someone's threatening us, will I be, like, you know, snippy, but regularly I just try to be kind of, you know, sort of pretty upbeat, in good humors, um, yeah, I don't really know how else to really describe myself. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's what I can think of. <laughs> I don't know if my segment is longer or shorter than anyone else's, but that's all I can really think of. I've only fronted like once or twice before, so I haven't been able to really explore the outer world too much, but like so far I'm kind of digging it. It's nice. And I guess I'll just learn more about what it's like to exist out here as I exist out here. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably see you guys later. Oh my god, these glasses are terrible.
I swear, it's like sexual alter culture to just hate the glasses and try to take them off at the soonest possibility. Like, I just got done with driving and no thank you. <laughs> My name is Baron. It's good to meet you all. I am one of the ones from space. Uh, though I guess that's what this whole video is, is just the alters from space making their own kind of casual intros. I am the first, like, sexual alter type to actually show up from outer space, and I've got my own ship, and it's been pretty great. Like, uh, I was one of the first ships, I think I was the fourth or fifth? Fourth? Yes, the fourth to show up, and yeah, I've just been kind of hanging around, kind of getting my bearings, uh... Yeah, I suppose I'll follow suit with the rest of everyone else who's been doing these intros and just kind of uh, go down the list of the most common trait things. Uh, the name I picked is Baron. Unfortunately, I didn't know that the president has a son who has the same name as that. That's n I did not name myself after him. <laughs> Good lord, no. If anyone makes that connection, oh, it was unintentional. I was just looking up names that started with a B. And I like that one, because it fit me the best, with my initials and such. And that's what I just chose. I am the leader of that ship, so having a name that means, like, something, an authority figure isn't really... It's fitting, in my opinion. It doesn't seem weird to me. That's what I was going to say. Uh, what else? My sexuality? I'd definitely say pansexual. I, I couldn't choose. <laughs> I couldn't stick with one thing. That would be... Oh, that would be boring. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Um, gender is male. He, him pronouns. Uh, yeah, solid gender. <laughs> Sexuality is all over the place. Uh, I think my favorite color would have to be pinks and reds. Like, I'm wearing this flame-colored bandana. Someone asked in the comments uh, the other day about what's up with the bandanas, what's up with the scarves. And that is something that we're kind of using to, one, it's our face covering for most stores, and uh, two, it's good for color coding, alters who have very strong affinities or connections to colors. Uh, colors actually have very symbolic meanings for our system, so, like, red has a meaning, black has a meaning, blue has a meaning, green does, yellow purple, gray, white, and a few others. <laughs> pastel pink. My hair is pastel pink. Yeah. I I would think personally I would have red hair, you know, because it just fits a little bit, but pink works too. I match Octavius, which is kind of weird. I think somehow we're connected. Like, I'm the grander scheme of things connection that he's got. Yeah. Like, he'd be part of my family, not me being part of his family. <laughs> That's how it's been going lately. A lot of us are figuring out that we've got family, and the older family members are the ones from space coming in. Like, Corvid's got an older brother now called Viper, and, oh god, I think he's pretty cool. I think he's fun to hang out with, but, uh... A lot of people don't share that sentiment. Yeah, I'm trying to make eye contact with the camera this time, but I think I'm staring at the right thing. I can hope. I only hope. Staring at the circle thing. I'm just getting really overexcited, and there's so many things that I could say, and I feel like I'm talking very quickly. <laughs> so I hope I'm not, like speaking too fast for anyone to understand what I'm saying, because sometimes we're guilty of that. Some of my likes would be music from when we were in like high school and middle school. I've been listening to Miley Cyrus, Justin Timberlake, uh, remixes of those, stuff like that. <laughs> it's been a good time. We've been making ourselves, well, recently, within the past couple of days, we've been making ourselves some playlists on SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, we don't use Spotify or um, Pandora like normal people. We use SoundCloud because we're just goblins like that. 
Just absolute cryptids. <laughs> I think it's fun. There's a lot of good music on there. Though there's a lot of music with subliminal stuff in there too, so you gotta watch out, though. Sometimes that's what we seek. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to make a whole video about this. I mean, the whole system wants to make a video about this, but I'm just the one speaking right now. Reclamation and how it can look different for many people. For example, we like fashion that's, you know, kind of... What's the phrase? Metaphysical, conspiracy-themed, I suppose. You could put it in the most simple of terms. And, you know, a lot of systems like us would be completely repelled by that kind of thing. But we're just like, I dig that. Like, that fits with my style. That makes me happy. That's what makes me feel better about this whole thing, is how I handle it myself. And so... Yeah, <laughs> but we use the words that we may use for our alters, our terminology, and our style and our appearance are definitely not for everyone. It's what's for us. <laughs> it's for us. What we use for ourselves is for us. We're not trying to lead by example. We're trying to provide an example. We are not an example to follow after, we are an example to learn from and take into consideration. We are not one who speaks for everyone, we are one who speaks for ourselves. And we speak from our experience. Yeah. I guess that's... that's not all that I have to say. <laughs> if I was talking about that topic, that's all that I would have to say, but... I think I'm supposed to be talking about my dislikes now. <laughs> I swear to god, I cannot count the amount of times we have run out of storage on this phone. This thing is so weird. It's like a newer phone than what we were previously using, I think. I think. Either that or we're just amassing way too many pictures. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose I'm also a protector. Just judging by the way I'm speaking and I'm analyzing myself, like... I say quite protectory things, like, I, I think I'd be a pretty good defense for this system. And, uh, it's probably what I'm gonna end up doing, is being, like, the social protector, better at speaking to others, because I went out to, to Petco, or PetSmart or whatever, to buy some crickets for our lizard, and I had no problem talking to the cashiers or anything, and Devin is just like, like, don't look at me, oh my god, I'm, I'm, like, subhuman... I swear to God, I don't, I shouldn't exist, <laughs> and I don't share that sentiment at all, frankly, and I'm concerned. <laughs> I, I'm concerned for some of our system, very much so, but I'm doing my best to uh, help out with the reparation and everything and try to get us to have a better diet and, like, actually consume the food. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> People have had such troubles with that, and previous sexual alters have been the type to avoid eating food, but, like, I'm from outer space. I'm different. <laughs> and I'm trying to get our body to look not like a skeleton. We have people concerned about us in the comment section about how much weight we've lost, and I'm just like, <laughs> we're concerned, too. We're very concerned, too, and... It's weird when it's hard to gain weight back. Most people don't have troubles with that. People are like, oh, I'm in need to lose a couple pounds. Like, that's society's pressure and such. It's not, like, actually what most of these people need. They just need people to stop telling them that. <laughs> but, yeah. We used to be, you know, in need of a little bit of exercise. But nowadays, we need exercise to build our body back and to not diet with food. <laughs> like, we've been avoiding getting the things that say light and low calorie. We're just like, no, give me the original version. I don't want no light calorie stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the light calorie stuff and having to sacrifice, like, enjoyment for health. Like, that's lame. Like, just eating the bland food, the bland version of the food in order to, like, 
be more satisfied with oneself is kind of sad in my opinion. But then again, I'm from outer space. I will keep saying that. I am from a very different culture than the rest of the system and honestly, our surroundings. <laughs> I don't feel like a kid who grew up in suburbia and went to a high school and dropped out of college. I feel like some dude who's been living in space who's been watching this kid go to school and college from TV. That's what it's been like for me, and for most of us, like, we tune into TV and watch what's going on in the inner world and out here. And it's funny, some of us can actually, like, tune back in and rewatch things and, like, kind of go back over a recap with our memories and such, and I think that's kind of funny. Terrence was literally doing that in the middle of a conversation yesterday just to laugh at something harder. <laughs> Terrence is great. I kind of view him like an older brother... But at the same time, I, like, jokingly flirt with him a lot. I flirt with a lot of the system. That's kind of how I roll. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's one of the reasons why I like the song Wrecking Ball so much is because I just blast that really loudly and don't get out of headspace. <laughs> I just, like, force my way into co-consciousness playing Wrecking Ball, and everyone is like, oh my god, what are you doing? And I'm just like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time. Now, I think I've spoken for like 10 minutes. This intro video is probably going to be like an hour long, but it was it's backed by popular request. This is a popular requested video type and genre, series, I suppose, whatever you call it. This bunch of alter intros has been, um, I guess, our most popular series of videos. And I know it's probably because that's like the stereotypical thing and what people click on, but... I wonder if these more quote-unquote honest intros are going to get more positivity than the ones where we were being like scripted and fake and trying to hold our best posture and best facial expressions. Yeah. Yeah, I hope these ones, people like these ones better. I hope you can get a better vibe on what we're like and how we differ, because, I don't know, a lot of us newer ones seem like we're pretty similar in vibe, but... I don't know. That might just be us trying to gloss over things, and even now we're in denial. After knowing that we're a system for 10 years, we're still sometimes in denial. A decade. We've known for a decade, and we've been knowing how to dissociate for longer than that, and we're still sometimes in denial. So don't beat yourself up if you're in denial about DID, even if you've known for a long time and have been diagnosed for a long time like us. You're real. <laughs> it's all good. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what type of videos I'll be filming, but I'm definitely going to be back. I like filming. <laughs> this is fun. It's my first time on camera, and I'm digging it. And I like being able to speak into a microphone and, like, know that we're going to have some decent sound quality instead of just having to be worried about leaning closer to the phone. All right. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Hey, goblins, and welcome back. Uh, I think I'm the last... I'm the last, uh segment in this intro video. My name is Owen. It's great to meet you all. Yeah, I've never... I think I've filmed a couple of things. Yeah. I haven't really thought about what I would go through for my intros. Dang it. I had it all lined up in my head, but then as soon as I turned the camera on, it was like gone. So let's see. Following <laughs> the pattern of the intros, uh, let's see. My name is Owen. Uh, male probably gay. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't really figured that out yet. Like, we've got a partner system who's got alters of all genders, so like, whatever is good, really. <laughs> whatever I end up being is good. Uh, let's see. My system role right now is kind of like a, I guess, I want to say personal trainer, but not really. It's kind of like personal trainer, but with, like, diet and, and food and nutrition. Like, I'm here to kind of get our diet better and make us look healthier. <laughs> get the proper balance back. Or at least do my best to. Yeah, wow, even our skin's looking janky. Ugh. A dislike of mine is, uh, I guess malnutrition. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I don't like really being shaky all the time. Like, I'm trying to hold my hand still right now, and it sucks. 
so I'm going to be doing my best to fix that. Yeah. It's kind of overwhelming coming into all this, but at the same time, it's really exciting. Like, I have a lot of likes. I know I say the word like a lot, but whatever. <laughs> we do that in real life. Um... Yeah, I think some of my likes are experiencing this world in, like, 3D. Like, Earth is so immersive. It's really funny because it feels like a TV show. All of us space people are saying that, and it really does. It all just feels like a TV show. It feels like, say, if someone who's a long-time fan of Supernatural just stepped into the show and was just, like, standing there next to Sam and Dean, you're just like, whoa. <laughs> I've been watching you guys on TV. It's wild. So I get to experience all these things firsthand, going to grocery stores, thrift shops, the much-debated cheese log, <laughs> driving a car, listening to music loudly if I want to. It's really awesome. It's it's pretty fun. Another one of my likes is... I guess my favorite animal would be snakes. People always ask, like, favorite animals... Usually that's a get-to-know-you thing. Snakes. They're, they're so cute. And, uh, yeah, I get commonly described as snake-like pretty often. My color is green, and I'm a little bit snake-like. I'm kind of slim. I've got, like, long blonde hair, um, green robes. Yeah, green eyes. Although eyes can change color sometimes. It's really weird. Like, uh, our system is very color-coded. Um, I wear a lot of greens. Like, that's one of the reasons why we wear these scarves. I think we've gone over that before, but I lost my train of thought, and I was going to talk about why we wear scarves. Um, one, it's a trauma thing. <laughs> our neck is very sensitive. And two, it's, you know, ultra-identification. And three, it's... uh. What our face covering is when we go into stores and stuff, this is like double, keeps you warm, protects your neck, and is your face coverage when you go anywhere in America right now, <laughs> or at least the Pacific Northwest. You just have to wear face coverings if you want to be let into stores. They will turn you down at the doors if you're not wearing face coverings here. I don't know if it's the same way in other countries, but like I've straight up seen people get turned around and be like, no, you can't come into the store if you're not wearing a mask. So, uh, wearing one of these is definitely helpful because it's just, like, one thing off our mind. We don't have to worry about wearing a mask because we've got, like, the bandana or scarf or whatever, and it's really pleasant. Yeah, it's it's kind of a security thing. We wore scarves a lot when we were a kid, too. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you're gonna know why we wear these scarves. I would recommend following our Instagram at Acrylic and Ether. It's just all one word, all lowercase, no spaces. And yeah, that's us on Instagram. I'm trying to think of what else to add about myself. Because <laughs> I feel like I've already said most of what I was going to say. Well, I was among some of the first group... Um, one of the first groups that came down to the planet, I was there next to, uh... Oh, what's he going by? Drake? I think he's going by Drake. Yeah. I was in that group. I was, like, the second one to show up. It was, like, uh, him, Terrence, and then me. <laughs> and then... Then it was Misha. No. Cadence, Misha, Baron. Yeah, and then Lennox is not actually from space. <laughs> they seem like they would be. Uh, like, he-they pronouns, I think. We're not sure about that one yet. But, uh, yeah, Lennox is from the planet from inside of Devin's head. He's got a subsystem of his own. It looks kind of like a, a condo, but also, like, just white void with watercolor galaxy as a ceiling and just white walls that you can't really see until you're, like, almost walking into them. It's really interesting. I think that's something we could make on The Sims if we get The Sims back, but we don't have a computer right now. We're kind of just, like, mooching off of <laughs> off of Max's. Because <laughs> uh, one of our cats actually bit our laptop screen and cracked it. So <laughs> we're going to, like, fix that eventually. But for the moment, we're uh, sharing a computer. Hence why um, we have a low ability to do captions on videos right now. Uh, I've 
notice that I think someone else has been putting them on our videos, and thank you so much for that. We appreciate it, because looking at screens is very painful sometimes. Like, trying to do work on a screen for an extended amount of time is pretty difficult, but we're working to fix that, too. That's definitely something that was, uh, something that went wrong on the inside of our system that we're working to fix. <laughs> yeah. It's very complex, and it's really complicated, and I don't think I'll really get into how our system itself works in this video, because, you know, it's an alter intro video. So, in the meantime, I'll just leave you with a shout-out for today. Today's shout-out goes to the Quarks system. They are a system who focuses a lot on topics that we are very wanting to focus on. <laughs> um, R-A-M-C, for the most part. Um, if you want to know what those letters stand for, check their channel out. Link is in the description. Uh, you're going to want to know what those mean. <laughs> Coming up with our future videos, you're going to want to know. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think that's all I have to really say. Yeah, I'm from outer space. I actually enjoy life, unlike our host, who is not okay right now. <laughs> we appreciate all your concern. Our host is not well. He's not dormant. We can't get him in system right now. We're trying to get him into the inner world, but it's literally a puzzle that we have to solve. We're almost there, but it's rough. It's really rough. DID is not easy to live with. And hopefully these more uh, honest videos kind of portray it better. Portray how spacey and weird it can get. <laughs> how much we pause and lose our train of thoughts and reality. It happens so much. Unless I'm just rambling about random things, which just happens. But yes. Alright, I'm just going to recap my thoughts to myself. Whatever likes, system roles, who I am, dislikes, random things. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I have to share. That's all I can really share right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of us don't have free speech, which is really interesting as a system. You'll definitely learn more about that, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. We're getting into some real realness here in the next, I guess, upcoming future. The foreseeable future. We're going to stop being so plastic, I suppose. Which is actually um, something that's how our system works. It's kind of like a kick-in defense mechanism that we have almost no control over is that weird kind of, you know that, that face, you guys know the face. We have that face that usually comes on when we're filming and you don't always see it, but you can tell when it's there. It's like a layer, it's like a filter that is put onto our face pretty much from the inside. And it stiffens up the muscles and keeps us from having honest expressions. So we're really working with that. And uh, yeah, a big part of that is eye contact. <laughs> Being able to not make eye contact is a big step for us because usually we try to stare at the screen to make sure our face is making the correct expressions. That's what we were looking at when we were filming. And now we're kind of allowing ourselves to have some freedom and keep less of a track on how our face is looking in the camera. Like, being able to look around is a relief, I suppose. <laughs> huh. Yeah. It's hard coming down from all the anxiety. I'm one of the ones who's trying to, you know, calm us down. So I'm trying to get us calm again. We were, we did not sleep last night. We got zero sleep because, I don't know, trauma, probably, processing things improperly at Devon. <laughs> it's been a time. But we're figuring it out. We're on the right track. As it really matters is we're on the right track. We're doing what we're supposed to do to get things in line. We're following our system's plan, so that's good. Yeah, our system is uh, structured to have a plan. People can give people DID intentionally. There is knowledge on how to create DID in a child. How to properly, I guess, traumatize them to create a system. And that's us. <laughs> we're one of those. Uh, the Quark system is able to speak more freely about this than we are currently, which is why we highly recommend their channel, and also Dylan Groves. I'll put their channel in the description, too. Like, we will 
forever recommend the both of them. They are wonderful. They talk about the type of system that we are in extensive detail, more so than we can provide currently. So yeah, please check them out. It's very important. Whew. Yeah, it's very important to me, to the community, to the world, and to reality, in all honesty. Weird note to end a video on. Dang it. Okay, I'll try to think of something cool to say. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Minecraft is coming along really good. There we go. There's something pleasant to leave off the video on. We're going to be doing another Minecraft video coming up really soon. And uh, one of which is going to be on Patreon, which is just going to be like a random work in progress kind of us rambling at the screen and just going around to random stuff. And then we'll have a more structured one coming out in probably a week or so for the regular channel. we got to show off what we've got going on. We've got, like, cities. We built cities. We built cities, pyramids, more towers, uh, more underground stuff, more buildings, more progress on other stuff. And it's just a really good time. We're super proud of how much progress we've made. It's a lot. It's what we do in our spare time these days. We just dissociate and Minecraft. It's a good time. And it's it's really coming along well. It's nice to be able to see our inner world kind of rendering the invisible visible. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for being goblins. If you're not a goblin yet, all you've got to do is hit that subscribe button. If you want to support our channel, uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment with some feedback. Like, what did you enjoy? Out of the topics we cover, what do you want to see more of? What are some things you're curious about? Like, your questions down in the comments really inspire us to make some of our videos. You'll see, like, some people will make a comment, and then a couple days later we'll have a video out about that thing. And that's that's from the comment section. They're, they're a big inspiration. You all are, and thank you all for being here. We hope you're doing well. We hope you're hanging in through this October. October is really rough. Like, especially for our system type. It's not a good month. There's a lot of traumaversaries and a whole bunch of just holidays where very bad things happen. And it's it's rough. It's an annual kind of gauntlet almost. But you guys can do it. We'll be right there with you. We'll get through this together. and And we'll kick this October's butt like we do every year. We got this, goblins. <laughs> Hang in there. Whew. We can do this. <laughs> and we'll see you all in the next video.